Turning this image into this video was so easy. Even for an old computer having 8 gigabytes of video memory. This video will be on an application named Face Fusion. The installation was a bit complicated, so I downloaded it inside Pinocchio. There was a bunch of requirement to run this application, and it was taken care of by Pinocchio. Once the application starts running on the local IP address, you will see an interface something like this. This may look complicated if you were looking for the first time. But after spending some time, I think I can give a simple explanation on this. We will be looking at this column first. This section will be third. It's about different models and video settings. This will be the first, and this will be second. So, our first column contains a source image, target, output path. A block where we can see the result. Log is usually helpful for debuggers. Terminal output again useful for developers. This is where you can queue multiple work and leave the computer. Let me know if you want a video on this. Below is a start button to start the process. I will start by uploading the image I want. If you saw my older video on making LoRa for consistent characters, these are the images generated using the same LoRa. Now going for a video. For the target video, I don't have one. I will search for a free video on the internet. I clicked on the first result to find something. Then I selected the content type as a video. From the suggestion, I will select female. I am looking for a single woman with a proper face and view. I think this should work. I hope I can use this video by this creator without any problems. The videos here are free, donations are accepted, but I am not making any money from YouTube right now. Back to the application, once we upload the video. There is some processing on the right side of this interface. The image on the right is the single frame of the video I uploaded. The face has been changed based on the source image. The detected face in the video is this reference image. If we look at the image, the face does match the overall body, this is acceptable. The image is not clear, but we have options for that. This preview frame. Out of a total 561 frames in the video. This is one of its frames. Every time we change the frame, the application shows the frame with the original image. Then starts processing and gives us a preview of the new frame with the source image. You can check the entire video frame by frame about how it looks. These are some processors, influencing the frame generation process by adding improvements. Adding an age modifier will give us an option to increase or decrease the age of the subject. The graphic card is not under use. I forgot to select the CUDA option when I started the application. The third option can be used when working on a video with thousands of frames. It is faster than CUDA in some cases, but it has its disadvantages. It takes a lot of time to do some setting in the back end. Also, there is no progress bar to identify. The preview was slower because I am on an Intel's third generation processor. After selecting the age modifier, we got a new option. Making it negative makes the subject younger. The image is acceptable with a young face. Let me make it a bit clear. I will add this face enhancer. The hardware consumed is less than what I expected. Compared to the old image, face enhancers work fine. Other parts of the image are still low quality. Let's use the frame enhancer. The frame enhancer works on the entire frame. If compared to the old image, frame enhancers make significant changes to overall quality. If I increase the age now, I should get a clear image. Signs of aging can be seen. Changing frames gives the same aged image from different angles. Let's have a quick look at the other processors. 
The lip sync works with the audio having words. I have not tried yet. The frame color I do not think is useful for me. It gives a frame like this. The expression may not make a big difference. The video I am using does not have much expression. It may work on angry or laughing characters. If we look a bit lower, here is an option to trim the frame. We can adjust and decrease the size of the video. Below is the face selection model, which also has a multiple face option. We get multiple face images below if detected, and we can select the specific face we want to change. I have not used multiple faces yet. Maybe I will in a second video. There are more settings for face selection, like this, small to large. Select face by gender, and select based on the race the person belongs to, like white peoples, black, or Asian peoples. Selecting face by age. Reference face distance. The application gives a crazy amount of options. There are these mass types, but the default selected box works well. Other gave similar or bad results. This is a face mask padding option. Increase on top will leave some part of the forehead unchanged. Option for face detection model and detector size, but the default values selected are the best. Face landmarker model and the score. This is a very interesting concept, but highly technical. Let it be default. This option is about keeping temporary files, video without audio, and this is to skip the auto download of files. The face editor processor is interesting and gives lots of options to change the face. If we try the first option, which is about eyebrows, decreasing it will bring the eyebrows down, increasing will make it go up. The changes applied here are blended very well. There is also an option which makes the character look left and right. You can make the character look up or down, or keeping the eye opened or closed. Also changing the lips to open or close. The frame can be downloaded as an image from the download icon on the top right of the frame. Getting similar characters from a single image is possible. To have a different surrounding will need a decent video. With a combination of multiple options like this, you can get some great expression. This face debugger option will help you identify whether the face is being detected in each frame. I have an example where it failed. This points and the green box identifies the face and its facial components. There may be frames where the AI may not be able to identify the face. I encountered a scenario, but after a restart and using the same image and video got it working perfectly. All the options available in the application are working great with the default value. You will not have to look for changes in normal use cases. Below is the video output settings where I had selected a 1080p video for export. By leaving the rest of the settings, I started the process to generate. For the hardware requirement, this is a 10-year-old 3770K processor. The graphic card memory is occupied by 45%. I assume it can run below 8 gigabytes memory. This is the actual video I downloaded. The video length is around 23 seconds. The video generated was good. I could have made it better with a few settings when we saw the frames. It took around 30 minutes to generate the video. I should have decreased the padding here. 
or maybe tweaking the blending a bit. What do you think about this application? Let me know in the comments.